Hello everyone and welcome back to Season Outs. In our last episode we dealt with the landed cruiser with Androns and it went pretty well so our A team feels pretty strong uh, I would say so our biggest threat right now is the next level of aliens we have someone fooling around down here could try to launch some interceptors from Indochina, but uh, it's unlikely they will find anything. Yeah, that's a long shot. But I have to try to show my presence a little bit. We could actually, since we have these worthless condors, we could send them out to look for bases. Even the radar range is pretty bad. I think I will actually dismiss them now. It's almost a new month, so I don't want to pay upkeep for them if I don't have to. So let's actually decommission this one in America and decommission at least one of these let's commission both sure they can handle let's keep one sure they can handle like a scout or something so it's not like they cost that much to maintain anyways so send out the marauder and we have a carrier that will build a base, civilians and reapers. And I think we need more than two fox dots against this. So we could either go with one marauder and one corsair, or one marauder and two fox dots. Let's go like this. Whoa. There is a small scout. Condor 2, go! Um, mission scout. <laughs> Let's see if uh, our Marauder will be able to win this without a vessel. Yeah, without problem. And I think he didn't even have. Um, uh, missiles. I think he went out with torpedoes. So, so we have a crash site here. I could send out our B team, but it's so close to our main base. Damn it! Let's go with the B team. I mean, in reality, I should almost just uh, use well use airstrikes on these guys but whatever so who do we want to uh, give our new improved armor I'm thinking about giving it to Christopher because he kind of uh, carry this team a lot so it would be good on a sniper but so now we have one more wolf armor if we would like to problem is that it weighs way too much might not be the best item or armor for a sniper but let's go for it we need to be able to protect our Charlie 2 here okay so 
We could tail this Joker until it's our land. But we had trouble keeping up, up with him, so... I'm not sure if we, if we choose tail until our land, if we will be able to catch it at all. Let's try it. How about this one? Um, th this one we can just attack, I think. That's okay. Yeah, look at that. They are so quick. Alright. Torpedoes, torpedoes. Full speed ahead. Fire everything you got. No problems. Uh, you can roll to the left. And you guys. You should kind of... Not really retreat, you should just go to the left. And then you can retreat, so you don't uh, start uh, retreating to the wrong direction. That might be a bad life choice, so... Well, now we have crashed side for <laughs> our A-team, so yeah... We haven't built any more sentinel armors, so I don't think there is too much to change here, really. If you don't like to give one of our snipers a sentinel armor instead. But I think it's just as good on our assault, uh, or our shield guys and our assault as well, so... Civilians and Reapers, two hours, yeah. Whoa, boy. This is a <laughs> suicide mission, but all right. Yeah, you better head out of there as quick as possible. Like... Uh, Right now, ee, it's good that they can turn quicker than the tracking of their shots. All right. So here is the question: twelve androids, three hardens. Can our B team deal with that? Could get 50,000 for just blowing it up. I mostly want the experience from these crashed sites. But the problem is if I get killed while doing crash site I lose a, a lot of experience and Anvons are not a walk in the park screw it let's try it another large cruiser um, have a condor, we have a Corsair. Let's wait a little bit. See if we can get some uh, ammunition for our Marauder. Looks not like it. I don't think a Corsair can solo one cruiser. It will get out of ammunition. So let's do this. I'm not sure this will work out as well as I hoped. Carrier filled with Reapers and uh, civilians because civilians start to be really tough right now. I mean, 
they have a lot of HP. So, yeah. Hmm. Let's see. We have to deal with it anyways, so... So all these uh, maps that stretches out to the left, like always. Bring out our scout car. Like so. And Olaf, you will have to scout behind this rock. Okay, you will even have to scout out that thing because I don't want any Reapers behind me. Thank you. And then we have Hiroshi. And he actually finds someone. Uh, pink Reaper. So it's time to decide. It's in a really strange spot. So how does one deal with that guy? I don't think we can get any line of fire against him. So what I will do is to check behind this. Yeah. There we have one more alien. Because against this guy I want to uh, group together and use react snipe fire. But if there is civilians around they might use um, grenades and stuff against me but um, let's try this make some kind of um, firing squad here Interesting, quite fast. <laughs> I'm not sure if this, uh, if this is uh, the way to deal with this situation, but I think I think I have to try it. Uh, I would actually bring a sniper back here as well. Perhaps not that far, but far enough. Then we have machine gun Kate. So if I get a grenade in this group, I'm screwed. <laughs> I'm so screwed. Yikes. Yikes. Come on. Phew. Yeah. Well, too easy. My hunter scout car that's like... <laughs> So old. This is like World War Two tech I have. Still can handle plasma cannon fire pretty well. They, that alien actually went out of line of sight after shooting. Pretty nasty. Okay. Two Reapers down. Should try to find this guy. At the same time, I, I'm quite afraid of uh, the guy with the plasma cannon back here. I should just fly and be free. Siding behind that bush. What bush? <laughs> Hunter scout car. Such a joke. Um, all right. So this guy. I wonder where he went. I'm actually a little bit concerned about him. 
There is, or not. That's not him. There is. Hmm, but this is why I brought the sniper back here. To get the uh, pot shots like this. <laughs> nice shot, Thomas. So, killing this guy might not be so easy. How about Luke? I would like to bring someone here that can use burst fire. But that ain't gonna happen. Kate can perhaps shoot from over here. That will leave her a little bit exposed though. So let's move Hiroshi out of the way. Come on, she should be able to see that guy. Well, let's bring Luke to scout for her then. She's blind as a freaking bat. Like so. Strange sounds. Did I hit anything else or... Hmm. Okay, we still aren't out of the woods yet because I haven't really secured this building. And there might be aliens with plasma cannons <laughs> everywhere, so... Or, even worse, reapers. At least the reapers will not be able to get Lars up here. But uh, Lars is a little bit exposed, to say the least. I think I should uh, move back down. We'll have our sniper in a better position. Well, I should bring Hiroshi a little bit backwards. Try to bring Thomas forward. So aliens from here and uh, here. I think we should be safe about now because we have scouted the closest sections. A lot of hidden moment though. Hmm. Let's fly around with Hiroshi here. Here's the carrier. Interesting. These jump jets, so <laughs> they are so loud. like we are almost safe. Uh, let's get in position closer to spacecraft. Something like this. Alston, cover the door. Luke, behind this cliff. Hmm. Do we want to go for, through the front door or the side entrances. I guess we will take both at the same time. Sounds like a sneaky way to do it. It should enable us to flank some aliens. Flanking is good. Uh, so heavy weapons. Machine gun Kate. Hmm. I should have you back here. So you can use reactionary fire if need be. Have uh, Victoria, our trusty sniper, join the front door force. Hmm. Alright. Go Lars. Did you really just fly over that small tree? Such a show off. Okay, we have a alien hiding behind this forest. So, D 
deal with it just as before. Hmm. Yeah, aim changes. Perfect. I say this like every single time, but oh man, these sentinel armors. OP. And I don't understand how they can be so cheap to build either. I mean, the predator armor costs more than the sentinel armor. That makes no sense at all. Like, we have one more alien. Hmm. Using sniper against him might be a bad idea because he might actually use reactionary shots. And I cannot find any angle. Hmm. So I think we should wait one more round before dealing with him. Hopefully he cannot know that we are behind these cliffs and so he doesn't throw random grenades at us like he used to do. Why can't we see this square? Oh well. I don't like this guy too much. Um, having a rifleman somewhere around here might be a good idea as well. I'm mostly concerned about his grenades. Let's see. Okay, he didn't throw a grenade, he missed the shot instead. He shouldn't have any more time units since he took a shot like that. Let's try to suppress him or kill him. Anything? Oops. Sorry about that. Alright. That should be the last alien outside the UFO. I don't know, but I pretend that it is. So. You can always fly a little bit. Okay, don't see anyone. That doesn't mean there is no, but uh, no aliens, but. I mean, a whoop. Oh, it's inside the UFO somewhere. This stupid bug. Uh, but uh, yeah, one thing is that. It feels a little bit strange that I brought uh, like all my shield guys to the side door and then I have my sniper snipers at the front door. Should have had, uh, spread the love a little bit. But I think we will be okay. We have an assault and a rifleman as well so. We have a lot of firepower in the front. Uh, that's for sure. And uh, Machine Gun Kate, she's all the firepower we really need. but Not the quickest though. Hmm. How about Luke? Let's have him in the at the side side entrance as well. is the scout for this team and he can't see anyone okay let's check this door then oops I was actually seeing that guy even if I didn't 
I didn't uh, notice that the uh, game paused. Hmm. I cannot see his weapons. Which makes this a little bit tough to decide what to do. Whoa! Yeah, you can always use the spacebar to cancel your moment. <laughs> really good button to know when you are misclicking like me. Right, sneak around. And this area should be safe, so we should get in firing positions if possible. I should bring my rifleman back here, I think. Hmm. This is someone inside again, yeah. Such a strang strange bug, seeing people inside a UFO like that. I don't mind that as long as they don't just kill me through the wall. Then I will start minding it. <laughs> mm, this should be the la same guy as before. Mm. Actually two guys, I didn't see that one. But um, he's only one of these non-combatants aim shot with one of our sniper and an aim shot with other our other sniper okay this cover is gone but don't have that many time units to deal with him I could try an aim shot like this Ooh, missed Hmm. Hmm. I want him to die, <laughs> but yeah. I mean, a little bit of a problem here, I think. A problem I don't really know how to deal with. So this is actually a good uh, angle for shooting at this one. But that's only a non-combatant, that, so that's kind of like no real threat. Um, this guy seems a little bit more dangerous. So we could bring Machine Gun Kate in here. Let's try it. Yeah, now we still have a problem. Uh, first of all, they usually throw grenades even when suppressed. Bullshit, if I have ever seen that, anything. Well, uh, also, we haven't checked these two doors, so we might get flanked. And if we get flanked by things like Reapers or something, we are in deep trouble. Uh, but we might get lucky with a shot from this guy. It's a hit at least, uh, but now we only have our two point mans. Hmm. 60% chance with a normal shot. I will not be able to turn around against this side though, if I take this shot. 
If I move closer, I need 28 time units to shoot. So I could go here and kneel, or I could go here and not kneel and take a shot. And I'm not sure if that would increase my chance to hit or not. <laughs> so yeah. And if I'm going to use this guy, I could go here, kneel and take a shot. Let's try that. But his aim is usually so bad that I'm just crying every single time I try to use him, so... Oh! Praise be the lord! What just happened? Hiroshi actually landed a critical shot. Okay. And at least there is no... Reapers. Or is there? But usually the Reapers are pretty offensive and start attacking right away after you start a mission, so they are usually not problem problem like that. Alright. I'm when I say that and there is a Reaper inside this room. <laughs> okay. Nothing on Kate doesn't really have the time units for this. Mm. Right. I think we leg it. I think we leg it. So we saw two aliens upstairs, one Reaper. So let's try to get some kind of um, defensive position here. I don't think the Reaper will run at us, but you never know. Hmm, yeah. Let's go take around. I'm happy that didn't happen the last round, <laughs> then I would have been so screwed. It's interesting that I cannot hear the, when they use the teleports. And that guy is still sitting at the exact same spot as before. Which means I'm going to use my old camp to teleport trick on him. So we have as many time units as possible for the next time. I want to check this room as well. So I don't think we have enough time units to really do it. Well, let's try to use Olaf here. Oops. That was a little bit clumsy, but whatever. At least we checked it. So let's bring people forward. I can reload mapping on Kate here. Like that. Snipers. My snipers are slacking a little bit back here, but okay. I'm already getting a little bit concerned about the next mission when I'm going to use my B team to do a cruiser. that might end poorly <laughs> so yeah I'm not that stoked okay this guy changed position which means he will have less time units for rapid fire which means he should be dead all right so let's check the next room And it's clear. Perfect. But actually make some progress this round. Instead of just watching me standing at the, staring at the teleporters all the time. Come on. Let's send the next person through. 
Oops. here mm, what else Alston well why not let's bring you with us as well I cannot remember how the battleships looks in this game but I guess we will find out sooner or later. Because we are kind of handling these uh, carriers pretty nicely. Alright, one of these rooms again. Time to decide if we should uh, go close or if we should stay back. Let's uh, stay back for one turn again. I'm trying to make this a little bit quicker than uh, usual, but it does take a lot of time to do this safely. So let's check what's inside the last room. Whoa! I like the fact that everyone's looking to the wrong direction. They are like, we are getting invaded! Well, let's not uh, look at the door. So, we have one guy with a hat, so that's the leader. And then we have his three kind of warriors or elites or something. I think these are elites actually. And then we have some kind of guard or soldier. And it seems like one of them has this big gun. I cannot see this one nor this one though, so. Mm. But I think they are too far away to actually get to the door and attack us, so we should be able to bring everyone up. So don't get smart and just use five grenades at this wall and kill us all. I wonder if that can happen. I hope not. Mm. Let's get close to this door as well. Kate, you are kind of the most important person in this assault team because you can almost guarantee a kill on someone or at least suppression so that's always good mm. yeah let's go all right we are still alive good sign no, they actually start looking towards us. The thing is, she can only hit this one in the front because of the this panel blocking. The problem is if I walk into this section, these guy will most likely start using uh, reactionary fire. So I will try to kill this one. Hopefully this will suppress the one behind him. Yeah. So that's pretty good. And uh, Luke actually have line of fire for these two guys. So if he use a burst fire against the one in the back, he might hit him. All right. Let's let's leave it that. Um, Let's kneel and take a snapshot. That didn't really work, but okay. Hmm. Then we should get out of sight because 
we know that this uh, square is in line of fire against this guy. So let's take a normal shot. And I was going to use a snapshot as well, but that will leave this guy here. Ah, uh, well, let's do it. Damn it. Hmm. I'm not sure if this guy will use Faction and Fire against uh, Hiroshi here or if he doesn't see me. But uh, let's try to kill this guy. Okay, missed. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So Olaf, get inside. This is actually a good uh, line of fire against this guy back here. But I want to kill the one with the biggest gun first. <laughs> This one didn't even shoot at me. Now we should shoot because I have no time use. Yeah. Alright. So, yeah, how many can still move? Not that many. Hmm. This, one, this one in the back that's still dangerous. Ah, damn it. Mm. The only ones that can move are Victoria, Lars and Alston. And these two guys are both kind of equally dangerous because I guess both of them have grenades. But let's use Lars to kill this one. Nope. Alright. That didn't e even work. Hmm. To use burst fire, I need 61 time units. Let's try it. Phew. Something is going according to plan. Alright. Melee sniper time. Let's do it. <laughs> Boo hoo. Sniper dead. He's throwing a grenade. Oh no, he changed to grenade. I'm tempted to just stun him because now we know that a uh, sniper rifle doesn't get uh, that much better at hitting when close. <laughs> it's good, good to know. Look at that guy, he's just taking it. He's down, and uh, Luke actually got one of these for killing five aliens at the same, in the same mission. That's pretty good. Um, 142,000, pretty good as well, that's two sentinel armors, so if we like to, we could use a trike our way back to destroy this scout. It's a little bit tempting, or just air strike it for some easy money, but yeah, that will have to wait for the next episode. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.